Welcome to Gamer Garbage, a series where I test and explore a bunch of mystery video game consoles that my video editor bought me. I have a package here from Goodwill. Danny said it's a special package. Let's open it up, see what's inside. All right, guys, so we have a normal looking 360. We've got a 60 gig hard drive. Uh, let's put that to the side though. And let me take a look at this packing slip. All right, guys, so we got the packing slip here. This is getting even sketchier. So it's, <laughs> it was $120 for this 360, which is like way, like double market value. But let's plug it in and see what's on it. All right, guys, moment of truth. Uh, first of all, I hope there's no red ring here, but let's turn it on. Three, two, one, we got power. Let's see if we have any mystery games. And, oh, wait a second. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. We have a copy of NCAA 14 in the disk drive. Okay, so if you guys don't know, this game is worth like 80 bucks, dude. I... <laughs> the profile is Bobby Squirts. Ooh, okay, let's, let's calm down a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, try to connect up this controller. But first of all, oh, so I was gonna try to connect up the controller here and that's going straight in the garbage. All right, guys, I have a proper controller now and I also wanna take a look at this disc. Let's just see if it has any scratches. And yeah, it's got some scratches, but honestly not bad at all. I really hope it works because if it doesn't work, this lot is just a, a waste of money. We'll see if it pops up and man, that profile is just like, We'll explore the profiles here in a second, but let's make sure the game loads up. Let's go, it's loading up. Oh, that's, that's sweet. Uh, you know, for how much I enjoy, I love football and I love football games, I've, I've never actually played NCAA Football 14. I think the last one I, one I owned was 12. Uh, but yes, game works. Let's go back to the main pro, the main screen now and explore some profiles. All right, <laughs> no way. Dude, this is, this is, I, this is unbelievable. This is exactly what I expected Bobby Squares to look like. And he's got 18,000 gamer scores, so there's no, no scrub either. Uh, his name is Matthew, his real name. Let's go ahead and check out his achievements. Last time he played, yeah, he last played NCAA Football 14 in, I, I don't know what year that was. Wait, hold on. If you scroll back, it's definitely, it's more recent than 2020. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's take a step back here. So this guy played NCAA 14 on his 360 since 2020. So let's say he played in 2021 when this game was worth a hundred plus dollars. And this guy took it to Goodwill and said, here you go, have it for free. <laughs> Little did he know he had a $100 game in his disk drive. And the first time he played was back in, oh wait, wow. So this guy is like, this guy is an Xbox 360 OG. He played from 08 to 2020. You don't see that too often, but dude, Bobby Squirts, what a legend. And oh, we got 10 profiles here. Oh baby. All right, we got a bunch of non-Xbox. <laughs> I don't want to say these words on YouTube because it's just like, uh... we also got Skits Zero, Toxic, we like them, and the U-Swag. All right, let me just go scroll through them and see if we find anything interesting. So we got Victor here, he's got 17,000 gamer score. He's got a Kobe greater than LeBron is his message. That's just <laughs> uh, back at last played in 2013. That's awesome. And we got Toxic here with 18,000 gamer score as well. Nothing really, oh, oh, he's got a, like a shed in his background. <laughs> what is that? Let me make him dizzy real quick. Yeah, there you go. But last but not least here, we'll check out this one. 4,000 gamer score, let's get it. <laughs> I have no words. I should have seen that coming, but it'll be blurred out so you can't see what it says, but you can probably guess what it says and it's... Dude, this Xbox 360 is something else. This is this is ridiculous. Like, we got NCAA 14 inside. We got Bobby Squirts. So we've got all these other ridiculous profiles. Let me go ahead and check out the storage here. We still got 40 gigs free. Oh, I didn't even check out the games. We have any free games here? Uh, just a bunch of demos. We got Family Game Night. That's a full game. We got one full game, a bunch of demos, so nothing too special. Um, and also, this is a Jasper. Like it's it's pumping. It, like the fan is is pumping out heat, but it's like not loud at all. It works. Uh, this might be my favorite 360 of, that I've that I've seen yet between the profiles, the free game. So uh, nice, awesome pickup. This is definitely a one out of ten gamer garbage. It's not garbage at all. So uh, let's go. So here I have a small box from Goodwill. I'm guessing there's some handhelds inside maybe. I don't know, well, let's open it up. And oh, that's definitely not a handheld. That's, is that a PS2 with uh, just zero bubble wrap? Nice. First thing we got here is some, some games. Uh, we got, what do we have? FIFA 07, oh, FIFA 07, dude, that was actually, that's actually my favorite FIFA of all time. I put so many hours into that back when I was, you know, however old I was then. Uh, let's go ahead and take everything out of here and take a closer look. All right, so all the way at the bottom is the actual PS2, and clearly it's a PS2 Slim, pretty small, and not terribly beat up for just sitting at the bottom of a box. I mean, it was straight up just resting on the bottom of the box, so it's pretty vulnerable to getting beat up and shipping. We also have a couple other games down here, including a GameCube game and maybe an Xbox game. What's in here? We have Capcom Classics Collection for the PlayStation 2. Why, why does that look fake? Oh, it's because it's a Japanese game. That's why it looks different. Okay, that's interesting. We also have Tekken 5 for the PS2. I don't know, man. Taking a closer look at this Japanese game again, it just doesn't look real to me because the, the print here is really blurry. PlayStation 2 logo looks weird. 
on the back it almost looks like data has not been written on the whole thing so it's like somebody printed their own ps2 game i don't know if that's possible but we also got a couple other games here street fighter alpha anthology was also in there and then last but not least there's a mystery game oh star wars battlefront 2 nice with the partially broken case let's just go ahead and take a look at one of these discs and see oh yeah that doesn't look great yeah i don't know i can probably resurface that and maybe get it working well but we'll we'll see let's go ahead and put all that stuff, stuff to the side take a closer look at these other things we have here so we have two dual shock oh my gosh wait a second Ooh, that might be the worst the worst dual shock 2 i've ever seen so starting out here with the right bumper it can't even press it in at all it's like caved in the other bumpers are fine and the buttons are fine but analog sticks are both like yellowish grayish uh and smooth and this one is just like straight up broken now this one here looks a little bit better uh, still not i don't know still not great but uh on you know, if that's a 1 out of 10, this is a 10 out of 10. Uh, let's go ahead and put this stuff to the side, plug in the console, and actually, well, real quick, let's take a closer look at this console, take a look at the inside, and it looks pretty clean for the most part. Uh, hopefully it works, so let's plug it in and see what it does. Now, this console is pretty dirty, right? I mean, if I were to sell this thing, first thing I'd do is wipe it down with some baby wipes, maybe blow out some of the dust with my electric duster, and another little trick I like to use sometimes is a toothbrush. I mean, it sounds weird, but yeah, a toothbrush can get into those little cracks and crevices and really get out some of that dust and grime. Now, for my consoles, I use those cheap little toothbrushes you can find at Walmart that are, you know, a couple dollars, but when it comes to my teeth, I like to take a little bit better care of those, you know, I don't want them falling out when I'm old. And that's where the Life and Wave toothbrush comes into play as today's sponsor, and also as one of the highest tech toothbrushes I've ever used. Now, let me just start by showing you the Life and Wave cleaning in action. To give you a nice visual, I have this dirty console here, and I'm going to show you the Life and Wave versus this other electric toothbrush that you can find in stores. So, I mean, I'll let the visual speak for itself, but just imagine that cleaning power on your teeth. But taking a step back, the whole experience starts when you unbox this bad boy, which, as you can see, like, holy crap, this packaging is great. I'll just let the unboxing keep playing on the screen, but it probably reminds me of the packaging of a certain company whose name rhymes with Mapple. It even has three different brush heads that come with it and a braided charging cable with a magnetic end that attaches to your toothbrush. I mean, come on now. So I know the Life and Wave looks good, but to be honest, the functionality of the toothbrush is even better. Now operating the device is pretty easy. You just use this pressure sensitive button here and the toothbrush starts vibrating and oscillating and you're ready to get your teeth clean. Now for all you tech lovers out there, this is where it gets cool. The toothbrush has three different default modes that change the vibration strength, the oscillation range, and oscillation speed, depending on how intense you want your brushing to be. They even have an app so you can configure things even further. Now, just as an example, here's the toothbrush at low vibration and oscillation, and then medium vibration and oscillation, and then high vibration and oscillation. Now, me personally, I've always been kind of a teeth brushing and flossing fanatic. I mean, I'm one of those people that actually brushes twice a day and flosses daily, and I gotta say, my teeth actually feel cleaner after using this toothbrush than I ever have with any other toothbrush. And yeah, there are a lot of other electric toothbrushes out there, but they just don't have the oscillation range, the vibration frequency, or even the cleaning power of the life in a wave. I mean, the visuals you've seen here just speak for themselves. So if you want to keep your teeth in tip-top shape, check out the Life and Wave using the link down below. You can get the ABS plastic toothbrush for $69, and each additional brush head three-pack is just $9.99. <laughs> okay, so I was, I was about to uh, turn this console on, and I was looking through the game cases, and I found that the GameCube game doesn't actually have a GameCube game inside. It has Dance Dance Revolution Extreme 2, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, GameCube games are cool to have. I'm, I'm actually amazed they fit that disc in there. That's, that's wild. Oh, and then... Dude, are you kidding me? I opened up FIFA 07 and we have FIFA 08 inside. That's, oh, that's a disappointment. Like I said, FIFA 07 was my favorite one of all time. But last but not least, we got Karaoke, Karaoke Revolution. That was actually got the right game. I also took a look at the other ones and nothing special about them. But let's go ahead and turn on this console, see if it works. It's strange. I, I've never actually heard a PS2 Slim like make noise, but I turned it on and it's making, it's making a noise. I don't know if that's like a the fan or... Okay, that's strange. But let's go ahead and just put a disc in and see if it works. All right, so FIFA 08 does actually look pretty good on the bottom side. So we'll put that in and see what it does. Well, that's not reading. Uh, let's try another game. All right, guys, so I tried a couple more games. I tried GTA Vice City, which is a silver disc. I also just tried Strike Force Bowling, which has a blue disc, and that is working. So it looks like it reads the blue discs, but not silver discs, which is not too surprising. That happens with a lot of PS2s. Now, there's a couple other issues we're having here. Now, first of all, I didn't mention it yet, but we also have a third-party power supply, which is kind of making some noise, as well as the console making noise. We also have a third-party AV cable, which I think is causing some static on the screen. Yeah, it doesn't sound great. <laughs> okay, the game is at least, at least working. The blue game is working. But yeah, again, I'm going to try to swap out this AV cable first to see if I can get rid of the static on the screen because I don't know what was going on there. And maybe the different power supply and maybe see if this thing just like cleans itself up because of those two things being replaced. Okay, that's a bit better. So I swapped out the AV cable, power supply. Power supply now sounds normal. Console still making the noise, which I think is the fan. But the static on the screen is gone, so it was definitely a bad AV cable there. Oof. So this one was 
$135 for everything, which for a PS2 Slim that doesn't read games, and the games included, I'll have to look up the games and see how much the games are worth, but I think this is like a, might be $75 over market value, maybe, I don't know, I'll have to check and look at the games, but uh, not a great purchase. Now, Gamer Garbage score for this one, I, I mean, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna go eight out of 10. It's, it's just like, it's almost straight garbage. So here I have a package from eBay. Let's go ahead and open it up, see what's inside. Oh, well, it's definitely a Japanese package, <laughs> obviously. And ooh, ooh, what do we got here? We got one of the cleanest PS2s I've ever seen here. Hold on, hold on. What am I looking at here? All right, so this is clearly a some sort of Japanese exclusive PS2. It's kind of like a, it says ocean blue. Uh, I, I guess this is ocean blue. It's got some other little graphics there. And yeah, this, this box is super clean. Uh, let's just go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so opening this up, we have obviously some cords. And then what I just noticed is that we have a, we actually have one of the DVD uh, remotes here. And we have a little dongle here that I guess is for the DVD. That's that's awesome. We also have a blue PS2 controller. Ooh, that looks nice. I uh, wonder if this thing's ever been used. Now down to the console and oh man, that thing is slick. Holy crap. No way. Dude, we got a stand and we got some, some oh, we got some papers here. Those look great. We got a, a clear stand, and it's not just ocean blue, it's like translucent ocean blue. This is like the most 2000s thing I've ever seen, and it's awesome. Let me go ahead and take it out. Honestly, it looks like a reshell, but I, I, I guess it's legit, and this is this is a super clean PS2, translucent, blue. You can even see, uh, you know, you can see your uh, just all the metal and everything down there, circuit boards, uh, disk drive, all that good stuff. Flip it to the back, though. We have uh, just normal stuff, and man, this thing is... <laughs> Said it like 12 times, but it's super clean. I, I've never seen a PS2 this this nice looking. Now, opening up the expansion bay, anything inside? Nope, no no secrets. And man, wow, this is, uh, this is amazing. Let's go ahead and plug it in, see if it works. Got everything plugged in and I got the controller out and man, even the controller is super clean. I don't know, did they replace these thumbsticks? Cause they don't, they feel too good to be true to be honest. And wow, this, it just matches perfectly. Like we, we saw this, I've seen this controller before, but I've just never seen this console, it's, it's awesome. And then of course, here's the stand, and oh man, same thing, matches the translucent blue. Let me go ahead and just like stick it on the stand, because we, we got to. Oh man, that is slick. All right, well, I'll let you guys do the honors. Go ahead and click the screen right there. Three, two, one, turn it on. Let's go. Smells like Japan. <laughs> Dude, even, even the clock battery's still good? Ah, that's unbelievable. I guess I don't see a warranty seal in there anymore, so maybe they opened it up and did some maintenance inside and like replaced the clock battery and stuff. But I guess, uh, so I need a Japanese game and I guess this is where this comes into place. Let me open this package up and see if there's a Japanese game inside. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. We got Madden 2001. I, I, I had no idea they made a Madden in Japan. Like do people in Japan actually wanna play Madden? I, I guess so. Uh, actually, that, that looks awesome. That disc looks really cool. Okay, let's go ahead and pull it out, put it in and see if it works. Okay, there it goes. Uh, that was. That was way too slow. Uh, that took like 30 seconds to read up, but let's go ahead and boot it up and make sure it boots. <laughs> All right, so I booted it up and it is working. Like I, I haven't had any issues since it took forever to read up, but let me go ahead and go back to the main screen. I'm gonna try one more game. I actually have just this other random MotoGP sitting around. So let's go ahead and put this in and see what it does. Yeah, there it goes. So basically the same thing. It took like 30 seconds to read up, which is definitely longer than it should. So I don't know if the, the laser is dying or maybe there's some other issue here I'm not, not aware of. Um, but man, overall this console is awesome. Uh, even like, uh, it's just the, the attention to detail to put the manuals like in size order, like largest to smallest. Cause I think this is a different packaging than the, than the OEM, but uh, just crazy. Let me go ahead and check and see how much my video editor paid. Okay, so this was 311. So definitely, <laughs> definitely paid a premium to get a, a cool PS2. Now, is it worth it? Probably, if you want a PS2 that looks like this. I mean, this is in great condition. My only my, my only problem here is the, the disc drive seems to be reading kind of slow. So Gamer Garbage score, I'm gonna go have to go. I'm gonna have to go two out of ten just because of that game, that disc drive issue. Uh, other than that, though, this thing is crazy awesome. So, let me know down below what you think. So here we have a package from Goodwill. Let's go ahead and open it up. See what's inside. Yes, a balled up <laughs> 360 rolling out of the box. That's awesome. I actually think it's hilarious that they just wrapped the entire bundle in one roll of bubble wrap. All right, let's see if we can get all this stuff out of here. We got some games. Got power supply, HDMI. We have a 360 Slim. Also got a controller in there, but let's first just check. Do we have a hard drive? I hope so. And we, oh, we don't. Crap, that's unfortunate. But we do have a controller that, I mean, it's dusty, but it's in pretty nice condition. Now taking a look at the, the console here, same kind of deal. It's actually not in bad condition, just a bit dusty and uh, grimy, but looking at the back, warranty seal is still intact, manufactured in 2011. And let's put that to the side. Let's take a look at these games here. I don't see anything crazy right off the bat, but we got, you know, a couple of Assassin's Creed games, Tomb Raider, Star Wars, Epic Mickey, 
What is this? I didn't even know there was a Captain America 360 game <laughs> available in 3D. Oh, that's hilarious. Let me open it up and take a look at this one. Just get a, we'll get a little peek at one of these games and hey, that's in pretty nice condition. Got a few scratches, but nothing too crazy. But hey man, let's go ahead and plug this console in, see if it works. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Three, two, one. We got life. I mean, I feel like I hear a game inside, maybe. Let's, nope, never mind. I was just tripping there. And console's on, cool, sweet. Do we have any storage? We do. Oh, we got four gigs, but it looks like they factory reset it or somebody did at some point. But the, the funny part is our <laughs> we have family settings on. Basically, whenever you see initial setup grayed out, that means you can't do the initial setup because it's got family settings on. So we gotta go and try to guess this passcode. Um, usually it's something pretty easy, but uh, yeah, let's try a few times. All right, well, I tried like 30 combinations, couldn't get it. So let's go ahead and go to uh, reset passcode and see if we can get <laughs> the security question here. Favorite food? It's gotta be pizza. It's always pizza. Let me, let me try. Come on, let's go. Please, please, please. <sighs> no, it wasn't. There's no way it was pizza again. There's no way. Pizza! There's no way Woo! it was pizza again. It was third time, man. <laughs> There's no <Yo>. way. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza never loses. I don't understand. We don't even have to try like hot dog or anything. Yeah, it's other options. There it is every time. I don't, I don't, just straight up, just straight up the third one in the past year. I, I don't know what else to say. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and open up the disk drive, put a game in, and see if it works. Well, cool. The game's booting up. It wants me to create an avatar for some reason. Uh, I guess I'll make one. But yeah, game's working. Console's working. Uh, no more, fa no more family settings. So, hey man, can't complain about a good console from Goodwill. Now for the gamer garbage score, again, 10 is max garbage. One is not garbage at all. I'd give this a three because like it, it works fine, but it, it's kind of garbage that it had family settings turned on. But guys, this one's good to go. Let's move on. Now this box is from Goodwill. Uh, it looks like it's got copier paper in it, but let's open it up and see what's actually inside. Ooh, ooh, we got some OG Xbox games. Nice. Ooh, okay, okay. We got a nice, ooh, that's a pretty nice looking controller actually. It's not bad for being from Goodwill. We got some cords down here as well. And of course, it also appears we have an OG Xbox down here, but let's pull it all out and take a closer look at it. Now, if you're interested in the games, you can see them right there. They're actually all in pretty nice condition. I would assume they're completed in boxes. They're pretty heavy. And this right here is pretty funny. It's a, a, a Xbox in a bag, the, the bagged Xbox. <laughs> let's open it up and take a look at it. Okay, so first thing I see here is we actually have one of those DVD receivers for the Xbox. We don't have the remote with us, but we have the receiver, which is kind of, I don't know, kind of cool. And the console itself, Looks really good. All four rubber feet, never been opened, which is kind of a bad, well, I was gonna say it's a bad sign, but this thing was manufactured in 05, so we probably don't actually need to remove the clock capacitor, which is usually those things bust over time and leak all over the board, mess up your board and that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, this console looks, I'm not gonna lie, it looks really good, especially coming from Goodwill. Well, let's, uh, let's plug it in and hope it works. All right, guys, got this thing plugged in. Let's do the, the test, three, two, one. We got power, it immediately boots, nice. Let's see if the disk drive works and Yo, let's go. Uh, it looks super clean in there too. I guess it's not surprising looking at how clean the console itself is, but let's go ahead and open up a game. We got True Crime. We'll make sure the disk drive works here in a second. Uh, we got to set our time, of course. Let's go ahead and just check this out. I bet we have some, some save data here. And yeah, we got some, we got bru Even the OG Xbox had the, the, the brutal auto boot that I can't stand. It, <laughs> I'm always messing around with stuff and then the game auto boots and it just, Ruins my train of thought, but let's, uh, I guess we can tech test the game first and you can clearly see the game's working here. We're not really a surprise, the game's working. We got resume game. Oh, okay, so I wonder if this, it wouldn't be surprising, but I wonder if this lot was traded in or sold, given to Goodwill for free <laughs> with the console and games together because that would make sense. We already got Mikey here. We also got nothing else. So we just, we just got Mikey. So Mikey played 0% of it, which is funny. Um, but yeah, game's clearly working. Let's go back to the to the home screen here. And I wanna check out that save data and see when this thing was last played and just to check out some other stuff. All right, now back to the memory. We got Brute Force, two saves. You get Conflict, Desert Storm, Storm, Dead or Alive 3, EA Sports Fight Night 2, Fable, FIFA Soccer 05, a lot of games here. Now, if you take a look at this again, we saw a couple uh, Battlefronts, you know, Star Wars, Medal of Honor. I haven't seen any of those on here yet. Uh, we got GTA 3, a ton of Halo saves. Let me actually check that out a little bit closer here. Uh, so I guess I can't actually check the date or anything. I can, all I can do is delete those saves, which is kind of unfortunate. There we go. We got Middle of Honor Frontline, which is there. Yeah. And there we go. Now we got Star Wars Battlefront, Battlefront 2, Clone Wars. So this console is definitely from these, these games came with this console for sure. And it makes sense because these are super clean. Console is really clean. Now, last thing I want to do here is check the settings and make sure we don't need to replace the clock capacitor because there still is, I think it's late enough that we don't, but there still is a chance. So let me check that real quick. All right. So we can see here our kernel is 5838, which looking at this chart here, you can see we either have, either have a 1.6 or 1.6B. Uh, Xbox revision, so we don't need to remove the clock capacitor. Now, despite it being 
the, the Clockmaster isn't invincible, but it's much better than the older ones. Uh, but we'll leave it alone because it's usually usually okay. So this console is fully working, tested, works great. I'll check out a couple of these games. Let me just go ahead and see if they how they look. I mean, like not bad. There's a little scratch right there. Actually, that's not even a scratch. It's just kind of some dirt, but uh, it looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and check how much Danny paid for this. Okay, so 115. That's that's not bad. I think an OG Xbox with a controller that fully working and tested goes for like 100 bucks. Plus we got some games here. Not bad. We'll we'll list these on whatnot so you can check out. Uh, check these out on whatnot but guys I, I think i'm gonna call this like a, a one out of ten like it's not garbage at all fully working got some good looking games so uh another good one so guys thanks for watching gamer garbage i hope you enjoyed let me know what you want to see in the next one and i'll see you guys next time